Looks like they're gonna hatch real soon. And judging by the size of the nest, we're gonna have some big bouncing babies. Okay, that's it for now, Aelita. Just a little longer, Jeremy. We've never been able to access this much data. Let me take over now, okay? Aelita, listen, I don't want to rush you, but uh... I've got things under control. Three vehicles coming right up. Right? Just watch. I'll show him what it is to be a guy. <laughs> Jeremy, tell me, do I really need to hear this? Uh, sorry, Yumi, but you can't always choose your friends. Anyway, the tunnel will be open soon. Hmm. follow you inside. <laughs> and there you go. The data analysis program is running. Great. And what does that mean exactly? With all the data that we've been able to recover, I've got a good chance of finding the antivirus. You mean that pretty soon we'll be able to shut down the super calculator? Exactly. And if it works, Aelita will no longer be tied to Xana by that horrible virus. Oh shoot, what are we gonna do with our free time? I mean, if we can't save the world anymore... You might study a little more and learn something for once. 3 a.m., wow! We'd better head for our rooms if we don't want to get caught. Well, good night. You mean what's left of it. <sighs> hmm. Jeremy, do you really think that your calculations will lead to something? We can never be 100% sure, but I think so. I can't believe that soon I'll be really real. Well, to me, you already are very real. I mean it. And to everyone else, you're Alita Stones, Odd's cousin. You know very well that isn't true. But a lie that everybody believes isn't really a lie anymore. Hey, don't worry, Alita. Tomorrow's going to be a great day. Believe me. Good night. Good night, Jeremy. This time, I got him. <laughs> It's Tuesday already. No, you're not dreaming, or rather, you're not dreaming anymore. It's already 7 o'clock in the morning on Sky Radio. Look out your window. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and they are talking, talking, talking to keep you from falling back to sleep, you bunch of lazy bones. It's a great day that's going to start off great thanks to Sky Radio with the Hi, Sonic's Daddy. latest hit. Hmm. 
I can't help but wonder what a girl your age could possibly be doing out at such a late hour. There's a boy behind this, isn't there? I couldn't exactly tell him that there were three friends involved and all of them boys, could I? That would have really freaked him out. Why didn't you just make up a story? I do it all the time with my parents. I'm sick of lying. I'd love to be able to tell them everything like I used to. Don't worry, Yumi. Soon you won't have to lie anymore. Come on, cheer up. It's gonna be a great day. They said so on the radio. Don't you think Jeremy looks happy this morning? Not for long. Hey! Whoa! Jeremy, would you listen to something for me? You'll see, there's not a lot of music, but the words are really interesting. She taped the whole conversation. But what does she want exactly? She wants to be a part of our group, and that we explain everything to her from A to Z. If not, she'll tell her father everything. She's even worse than I thought. Excuse me, you three, but do you mind if I teach a class here? Not at all, ma'am. After all, it is your job. Yes, and my job is also to ask questions, isn't it odd? So would you be kind enough to tell me the mass in moles of two oxygen atoms? Um, um... 32 grams per mole. And the principle of photosynthesis? Uh, you mean... The synthesis of oxygen from plants possessing chlorophyll placed in light. All right, here's an easy one now. Which student in this graduating class is the biggest failure in science who, nevertheless, takes the liberty of not listening to my lessons? Um, me, Mrs. Hertz? Bravo! Well done, Odd. You see what you can do when you apply yourself. Whatever happens, we can't let Sissy tell her father. Don't worry, Jeremy. I've got an idea. I'm so happy that you finally decided to give me a lesson in Penchar of Kilat. Penchak Silat. Whatever. Well, I wonder what could have made you change your mind all of a sudden. Is it this one? Uh-huh. Huh? Ooh. Maybe this is what you're looking for? This is a basic lanka. You ought to be able to manage it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You were right, Sissy, as usual. They were after the mini-disc. Oh, well, gentlemen, did you think you were smarter than me? You don't know me very well. So, now it's time to spill the beans. Tell me everything you've been up to for as long as I can remember. What's the big conspiracy? Oh, you won't tell me a thing? Is that it? Okay, then. You asked for it. I'm going to play this recording for my father. Hmm. It's Tuesday already. No, you're not dreaming, or rather, you're not dreaming anymore. It's already 7 o'clock in the morning on Sky Radio. Look out your window. The sun is shining, the birds are mm -hmm. singing. It's the Sky Radio with the Hello. Subsonics' latest hit. Here it Yumi, I have to talk to you. Papa, I know what you're going to tell me. You're totally right. Okay, I'm sorry. Yumi! Ugh. But I didn't program going back in time. Then how do you explain the fact that Tuesday is starting again? It's weird. Let's go over to the factory after science class to check it out. At least we've got a second chance to get Sissy off our backs. Uh, Sissy? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. What? You are? But, but, you see, I, uh, I wanted to talk to Jeremy. Oh, that can wait. There's something I've been wanting to ask you for a long time. But I just can't bring myself to do it. You, uh, you can't, uh... Would you like to learn Pinchak Silat with me? Well, uh, yes! So, would you be kind enough to tell me the mass and moles of two oxygen atoms? 32 grams per mole, ma'am. Uh, oh, yes, uh, that's right. Uh, very well, Odd. Now, please, would you explain to me the principle of photosynthesis? Of course, ma'am. That would be the synthesis of oxygen from plants possessing chlorophyll placed in light. Odd? Is it really you? You haven't been replaced by a clone? No, ma'am, why? Is something wrong? No, uh, no. Let's go on with our lesson. Wow! Hey, being a good student is so cool. <laughs> Very good. You learn really fast. You think so? That's great. Uh, Sissy, could could I talk to you as a friend? Sorry? As a what? As a friend. You see, I'm worried about Jeremy and Ailita. 
I know you're gonna laugh, but... Laugh? But why? Well, um, you see, they, they've kind of lost it. For some strange reason, they think they're virtual people. What's that? Do you think we're going to live the same day over and over again? First, I have to isolate the program that jumps back in time to see what's going on. Maybe it's Xana's doing. We'll know in a minute. Odd, you mind telling us what you're doing over there? I'm studying. That's what you wanted me to do, wasn't it? Mm. Look at that. Xana's managed to take control over going back in time. But how? In my opinion, by using the data we recovered from Sector 5, booby trap data. But why would he do that? He must have a good reason. I don't know. In any event, it's starting up again. We're gonna go directly back in time in a few minutes. I'm launching a scan to see if a tower has been activated. I can't believe that soon I'll be really real. It's even worse than I thought. They've gone right off the deep end. But that's crazy. <laughs> it's much worse. They're totally out of it. Tower activated. Xana's launched an attack. But what kind? I don't know yet, but we can expect the worst. He didn't take control of jumping back in time for the fun of it. Get ready! It's starting again! It's two Radio with the Subsonics latest hit. Hi, Dad. Uh -huh. You meet. What's fascinating is that plants use the sun's energy to change water and carbon dioxide into glucose and in exchange <gasps> give off oxygen. Odd, if you keep this up, you'll be teaching the class instead of me. Oh, I certainly don't know as much as you, Mrs. Hertz. I'm beginning to wonder. Just think, now I'll have to start all over again with Sissy. Don't even bother, Ulrich. I need you too much on Lyoko to help the others deactivate the tower. But what about Sissy? We'll find another way. Fair enough. I really don't think I could be as clever as yesterday. Not like Odd. Transfer Yumi! Transfer Eilida! Scanner Yumi! Scanner Eilida! Virtualization! Uh, uh. Welcome to Lyoko, ladies! The activated tower is on the second plateau to the north. Sorry, but you're gonna have to go without vehicles because I don't have enough machine resources to bring them up. No sweat. It'll be just like the good old days. Come on, let's go. Good luck. I'm gonna try and regain control of jumping back in time. It's kind of quiet. Too quiet if you ask me. You can never really enjoy the present moment, can you, Ulrich? Huh? <gasps> oh, yes I can. Jeremy, Xana is sending us monsters. So I see. Separate their flight pattern. That ought to weaken them. Odd. Take Aelita to the tower. Ulrich and I will take care of the monsters. Dive on your right. It should be a path that leads to the tower. With a platform to land on? Well, logically, yes. That's encouraging. Jeremy! Here. Ready? Mm -hmm. Super sprint! These little machines work very well. Daddy, that's not the point. You heard what they said. Yes, it's uh, strange indeed. I'll call Della Robia's parents to get to the bottom of this. Nice jump, but it just cost you each 20 life points. It was worth it. We can see the tower.
Hornets are attacking Aelita and Odd. Got it. Odd, get ready for guests. Three Hornets are heading for you. Shh, Odd, listen. <gasps> you hide. I'll take care of it. Odd, time's running out. Xana has started another jump back in time. <laughs> Solution. Cheer up, Jeremy. You're about to get another day. So then, madam, you have never heard of this young girl who is supposedly your son's cousin? No, I assure you. Sorry to have disturbed you. <laughs> it's Tuesday. <clears throat> no, you're not dreaming, or rather, you're not dreaming anymore. <sighs> it's already 7 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> No, I don't believe it. Aelita is still on Lyoko. We gotta get back to the factory. Pronto. Go ahead. I'll meet you there. Sissy, I already know what you're gonna say, but I don't have time. Don't you move! Doing. I need you over here. We're waiting for Jeremy. Without him, we can't do anything. Leave your message. I'll call you back. Still no answer. Okay, we'll find it. Uh, Sissy, you're not yourself. Xana has possessed you. You must not obey him. I've never felt so good. No! <sighs> Transport the simpleton to a safer place. Yumi, they saw me. I lead out. I lead Perfect. They'll never think of looking for him here. But sissy, what's going on? You. Be quiet! Ugh. Odd, Ulrich, look out! Sissy is possessed by Xana! <sighs> Can you see anything? Absolutely nothing, but I think we better get out of here! <sighs> Go on, I'll handle her. Are you sure? Get going, will ya? Good luck! How did Santa learn to possess people? It looks like he's increased his powers! Brilliant, Einstein! But how? With the jumps back in time! You think so? I sure do! The supercalculator is a quantum computer that uses the properties of qubits. Every time you add a qubite, its power theoretically doubles. I think the pro- Jeremy, do you mind saying that in English? Well, the supercalculator is so powerful that it can undoubtedly do it. Oh, there you are. 
at last! I lead us in trouble! doesn't remember a thing. It's as if nothing ever happened. Lucky for us. Mrs. Hertz already gave each of us four hours of detention for skipping her class. You know, if our homework is on photosynthesis, I just might get the only good grade of my entire career as a scholastic washout. Anyway, we now know that Xana can control people. We also know that jumping back in time increases his power. We're gonna have to be very careful. The next round is gonna be tougher than ever. Mm. 